All right, if you are someone who deleted the CapCut app off your phone during this ban, and now you can't get it back because it is nowhere to be found on the App Store just yet, and we honestly, at this moment, don't know if it's coming back or not, here's what you can do instead. This is Branded Like a Pro. Welcome to Branded Like a Pro. I'm Danielle Botang, and on this channel, we help you monetize your content. In this video, I'm gonna go over what your alternative is if you cannot access the CapCut app because of this ban, and they just deleted it from the App Store and haven't brought it back yet. Now, over the last couple of days, I've tested a whole lot of editing apps right on my phone to try and find out, yo, what are the best alternatives that we can use instead of CapCut during the ban? Thankfully, I'm one of the ones that I have received CapCut back on my phone. We don't know for how long we have like 70 something days for them to determine what they're going to do with the app and what the whole agreement's gonna be between China and the US. In the meantime, I'm here to help those who do not have access at all to it still. To make sure that you're still able to build content for your brand, get stuff out there, and allow your business to keep moving through content. So after going through all these apps, I came to this one conclusion. Now, I've been editing for over 10 years and I know exactly what I'm looking for in an app and what I am not. So I'm here to give you what the best alternatives and right now the best options until CapCut comes back, or even if IG ends up releasing this new edits app, the best option is to use these two apps in combination. Now, I wish so bad that I was able to get you one solution, an all-in-one solution app to be able to edit your content from, but for now, trust me, these two are gonna be your best options to do stuff quickly and efficient. The first app I recommend, and it is the closest alternative to CapCut right now, it's called Filmora. The reason why I love this app is because the GUI itself it already is extremely similar to CapCut. Right at the top, you have different AI options. You have all your projects listed below. Even the new project button looks just like what CapCut was. So I go in here and I look into new project and I am going to edit this right here. It's an intro to my video editing hack. I bet you didn't know series. If you wanna check it out, go over to my Instagram at by Danielle Boteng and you can be able to watch some of my video editing hacks that are mainly for CapCut, but I'm gonna start mixing in some of the different options to edit from, okay? So right off the bat, looks pretty close to CapCut. Has your different options at the bottom. And as you click into, for instance, on the video, now you have all of your features to be able to edit your video directly on. And to be honest, a lot of it looks just like CapCut. So I want it to be able to provide an option that is going to be the easiest to move over from and that's not a really big learning curve, right? So you have all the options there now. The main thing that's different is CapCut, when you wanted to put B-roll, any video or photo on top of your main video, you would do an overlay. In Filmora, that is called a picture-in-picture, PIP -picture. stands for picture-in-picture. -picture. Just think about on old TVs, how they used to have the option where you can put a picture on top of whatever you were watching. So that's what we have here now, and I can go in and add whatever I want on top. And it shows up like just like how CapCut used to. If I hit the down arrow, that overlay goes away and now that video is right on top. So it's very similar to what CapCut was, right? Filmora is free to use. The only thing is with their subscription is if I wanted to use the free one, if you do not have the pro, you cannot export out in 1080, which that is a major bummer, but Let's use this as a solution until you're able to get your CapCut app back. So right now, if you wanted to explore its pro options at the time of recording this video, it's actually a really, really good price. It's actually cheaper than what CapCut was with almost all the same features. So far, I have not found any features that aren't in this that are in CapCut. So if you wanted to, you could get this all for one year for $39, which is crazy cheap for a full-blown editing app that also has a computer app as well, or $12.99 for the month. What I highly advise and what I did myself is I got this $12.99 subscription to be able to test the app, still be able to get content out. I recorded and edited this video right here, right in Filmora's app, did the captions and everything. So if I were you, what I would do is I would go ahead and get this $12.99 subscription for the moment until CapCut comes back. Just get it for a few weeks just to be able to continue getting content out there. It's gonna be a very simple, easy learning curve. I plan on running some classes to learn how to edit content like this or this. But until then, you can start working in this. What I did is I got this app for $12.99 and then I went into my subscriptions on my phone. I canceled it just so I don't forget. And now I have this app for the rest of the month 
won't get charged anymore because hopefully is by the time that this month ends, your CapCut will be back into the app store and you'll be able to download it. So this app right now is again, the closest thing to CapCut. Only issue it is with it that I've personally encountered is with the subscription. The way that their subscription works is it goes off of different credits. You get so many credits every month to be able to use certain features within the app. Every time I go to do my captions for the app, it shows I have 200 and something credits, but then I go to export out and do the captions it's like, hey, you need two credits for this and it won't export it. So that brings me to the second app and that is Captions. This app right here, I am not gonna front. It is the app with the best captioning features I have ever seen. Even better than some of the stuff in CapCut. Now for me, since my CapCut is back, I'm gonna continue using the captions inside of CapCut just to speed up my time in doing my videos. But every once in a while, I'm gonna do my reels inside of captions just because I have not seen any app like this that does captions so well. So this video right here is one that I use the captions app for. So if we go into captions here, this app right now is so worth the little subscription. Right now they have a deal where you can get it for $5.99 a month. And if you wanted to, you could edit your entire video on here. It doesn't have all the bells and whistles that Filmora does that I personally like using. But if you're looking to do some very basic cuts with some really good captions, it is an amazing option. So let's create something. So I've already edited a video in Filmora and I'm going to pull it over. So you just go here to captions to import the video. And I'm gonna import this one here. Hold up a second. So Instagram just announced that it's releasing this. So when you first get into the app, it has the option of saying, hey, you can choose what language is spoken and you can also choose if you want to translate your captions or your audio. I'm not gonna do any translation, I'm gonna leave it on English and I'm gonna proceed. It's pretty quick uploading it and now it's in queue. It's actually going through transcribing and applying the captions. And look, it already went ahead and applied one of the template features that it has. But to be honest, outside of CapCut, CapCut is really, really good. Sometimes it, it messes up a little bit, but all the times that I've used this app so far, the captions are pristine. So if you want it to come in here and edit the captions, you select on captions, go to style, and you can choose whatever style. They have all these templates that are fully customizable. Personally, I love this Cove version, the second one here. You can come in and you can customize the text color so I can change the text to whatever color I want. It also has one highlighted word in it. So like wave, you see how wave is a highlighted word, what is. So I can go in and I can change that to whatever color I want as well. And it shows it up in the preview. So I'm gonna leave it like that for right now. You have so many options in here. You can add a background to the active word. Personally, it's not my favorite style, but you can customize this, change it as much as you want. They have backgrounds to them so I can change it to whatever width I want, change it to whatever color I want. Also, you can do shadows. I'm gonna keep the captions background off. I like having a shadow behind mine so it will stand out just a little bit. You can change the font type. I actually really like this instrument font. I'm gonna leave all of this as is. If you want it to, they do have AI emojis. It's not necessarily my style, so I'm not going to apply it. There's just so much stuff that you can do in here. And it's probably been the easiest app to edit and move the captions around. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this because I like that style of caption, right? So let's just say I don't like the placement of this, or it's too small. I can come in here and select the caption by literally just using my finger here. Can pinch it or zoom in and out. Pinch to zoom in and out with two fingers like this and move it wherever I want. I like it about that size right there. So now my video does some stuff where now I don't want the captions there over my mouth. So I can simply do this. It's super powerful in this app. I'm gonna scroll over to the moment right when I want it to start. I'm gonna select captions here and then scroll over and there's this thing called keyframes. Now a keyframe is simply a point in the video where it remembers, hey, these are the parameters that I'm doing. So it remembers, hey, this is here. Now we will place one keyframe there, this diamond shape button right here. I'm gonna apply a keyframe right here at this point. Then I'm gonna scroll forward some more. Either I can hit the add button or I can simply do this. Just click and drag the caption up here. I'm gonna size it up just a little bit by pinching outward with two fingers and it places a new keyframe there. So now look what happens. 
it's moving everything. And now everything after that keyframe is up above, everything below before the first keyframe is now down below. That is huge. The fact that it recognizes between even the breaks that it's moving it, there's, I don't know of any other apps that does that feature right there right now. So and now if I get back to the end, once it starts moving, I'm gonna add another keyframe. I'm gonna hit the add, then I'm gonna scroll to the point of where I want the text to be placed. I'm gonna slide it down and there we go. So the last 24 hours have just been insane. I'm gonna go into more detail in this in one of my live classes, but for now, this captions app is insanely powerful. If you wanna catch my next class where I'm going to teach you how to level up your videos like this or like this, all right here from your phone, be sure to click the link down in the description, get on the wait list for my next class. Make sure you're in the next one because it's going to take your content and your brand to a whole nother level. If you do not have access to CapCut right now because it's not in the app store and you deleted it, Filmora and Captions together is a very powerful combination that will get you and your content right and just take your brand to a whole nother level. Be on the lookout for IG's edits app. I did a video right here if you wanna go ahead and check it out, watch it. It sounds like it's gonna be a very high contender to CapCut, super excited about it, but it is out on pre order so make sure you go ahead and get on the list so you're one of the first to find out once it's available but in the meantime check out this video where instagram reveals that app i'll see you in the next one